All right, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It is Saturday. Uh, what's today? Today's the 14th of September. I have no appointments. I have no deliveries. I have nothing going. So last Saturday, I was at the half marathon. Um, so I wasn't working. The two Saturdays before that, I made videos both of those days. And both of those days, I sold, I think one day I sold three cars. And then the other one, I sold two. So we're going to do it again. We're going to film throughout the day. And we're going to see if we can uh, get in front of some customers and write some deals. Right now, we're just parking loaner cars, getting everything out of the front that was dropped off last night and then uh, at that point we're ready to do business so uh, let's get her done just to update on what's been going on currently I have three sold I have two pending uh, I was on vacation for four or five days. Again, don't forget August ended on like the 4th, 3rd or 4th of September. So by the time we started, I worked two days, I was off, I worked two days. So I have five sold, uh, two certified pre-owned cruises, one certified, actually one express van used and was not certified because it was a little too old. And then I have the new Suburban. Uh, remember the Suburban I had to get? That was the silver, uh, silver one for a friend. That was last month, they got pushed to this month. Here it is right here. So what's awesome about this is this is an RST model, uh, specific wheels, everything's blacked out. So like your Suburban is blacked out, around the window frames is all blacked out. Uh, it's the 6.2 liter. This is the performance, uh, performance RST. So it has 420 horsepower rather than the 360. You can see your grill's all body color. So there's no chrome on the vehicle. Gives it a real nice look, very sporty. They'll be picking this up in a couple of days. Uh, inside it has pretty much everything you can get you know navigation system apple carplay android auto dvd sunroof it has the bucket seats it has the head-up display so on your windshield you'll see like the speedometer the tachometer uh, radio station controls navigation commands it all appears on the bottom portion of the windshield which uh which is pretty awesome kind of like a fighter jet looking system as far as technology goes anyway but uh, even the mirror caps are black so really sharp looking vehicle. You don't see too many of these on the road, so it's a little more rare. Black bow ties. And then of course you get the red and chrome RST badge there on the back. So that's going on Wednesday, I believe. And then I sold an Equinox uh, white Redline edition, which was a locate from one of our other stores. Uh, I haven't seen it yet. It got here yesterday uh, after I left. So I'm gonna go take a look at that right now. And here it is here. So again, the Redline Edition, it's 795 bucks that you can get added to an Equinox. Gives you a specific grill up front. You do get black bow ties. It's gonna give you uh, black emblems with red accents on the uh, Equinox badges on the side and on the back. You have one here, even the old wheel drive emblem is black. Black bow tie in the back. And it gives you these specific wheels, which are black with red accents. Gives it a pretty cool look. And lastly, black mirror caps. Other than that, this is a premier Equinox. Uh, there are options you could add in addition to this, like a sunroof, which this does not have, and what's called a Confidence 2 package, which would give you some uh, active driver features. That's where it could uh, steer you a little bit to put you back in your lane with lane keep assist, emergency braking, where it can slow you down uh, from 50 miles per hour down to zero in an emergency situation to try to stop the vehicle. Uh, this is a 2019, so it doesn't have those. In 2020, those features will be standard. This also has a floor liner package. So very well-known companies called WeatherTech. I'm sure you heard of them. Um, I've used them in the past. Their floor mats are great, but now check it out. Chevy makes the same style. So these are all designed to fit perfectly within the, uh, the floor pans of the vehicle. They make them for all the different trucks and cars. Uh, even the one in the back here, you can see, fits perfect, has some uh, spots that kind of interlock in the middle. So it's a perfect fit. You know, you use those floor mats, you take them out, you hose them off, you put them back in. It's great. It's definitely a good looking vehicle. Chevy's doing some cool things as far as little styling cues and stuff like that to kind of give you the ability to customize and set your vehicle apart from the rest of the pack that's out there. But uh, that's pretty much the update. So that's what we have going on so far. Hopefully we can write maybe two deals today and uh, add to that five and just crank out the rest of the month. We can definitely do 20 cars, 20 plus cars if we just get to work. First customer just came in. Previous customer of mine, uh, the quick rundown, his wife is gonna be in need of a vehicle, so they're looking at a Tahoe. 
Got a couple of keys, a couple of cars to show them. It's really going to be an informational type visit that we're going to uh, explain all different packages and what you can get in a Tahoe and stuff like that. We're going to drive it today and then uh, his wife will have to make a trip down to, to take a look at it herself. But this is awesome. It's a good start to the day. Want to log out a plate. And let's do, uh, let's do a product demo. Ten nineteen. customer just left. He was here uh, again to look at a Tahoe. So here's one here. First thing I do when I get a customer, uh, in this case, he wasn't really familiar with the Tahoe as far as the equipment levels and stuff like that. So you kind of break it down. First thing I do is I go right outside, you know, get in front of the vehicles. This way, as you're explaining them, you can kind of point out the differences, uh, you know, right firsthand. Uh, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, a lot of times I see guys that are doing things with brochures or they're sitting at their desk you know, going over or packages. And if you don't have that visual, it's very hard to understand exactly what someone's talking about. So that's what I do. Uh, the next thing I do is, is just talk about some of the basics that break these packages apart. So you can get an idea of what the customer uh, or, or guide them towards a model that they would probably prefer. So like in this case, I was talking to the customer about uh, leather or cloth and he definitely wants leather seats. So with leather seats, you automatically rule out the LS model. It only comes in cloth. So that would lead us to an LT like this. Easy way to tell. You have your black honeycomb style grill and you have your 18 inch standard wheels. Now a Tahoe LT like this can be equipped with a luxury package. And a luxury package is gonna give you things like power folding third row, power folding mirrors, power tilting telescopic wheel, second row heated seats. Uh, you know, just a whole bunch of features like that. You could add a sunroof, you could add a DVD navigation system, and you can upgrade to 20 or 22 inch wheels. From there, you would go up to a Premier. Now a Premier model like this is gonna have things like the chrome grill, chrome mirrors, uh, chrome up along the roof rack up top here. Uh, this has power articulating side steps, which is an option you can get on a Premier. You can get things like uh, head up display, you can get adaptive cruise control, things like that. So based on how much the customer wants, you can kind of guide them towards whichever package. Uh, the client I was just with, an LT like this with luxury package is really perfect for them. So that's what, we, uh, that's what we're gonna price up. And in pricing it up, we looked at the difference between a lease and a buy on both a 19 and a 2020. Cause we're at that part of the year where I have some leftover 19s, we already have 2020s here. So on a buy, you have 0% for, uh, currently we have 0% for up to 72 months on Tahoe. So that's awesome if he's looking to buy it. Gave him some lease examples as well. He still has five, six months left on a current car. It's a non-GM vehicle. So he's not doing anything today anyway. So it's an information gathering type uh, type, uh, type of visit. And it's a previous customer of mine who dealt with me in the past and decided to come back and see me again. So we'll stay in touch with him for the next few months and see if we can put something together down the road. All right, here she is, 2019 Chevy Trax. We just sold it and it was super easy to do. Reason being, uh, the customer was actually here while I was on vacation. So they dealt with another salesperson, they test drove it, they liked it, but they wanted to wait until I got back, which is awesome. So they did that and uh, came in today, said hello, wrote it up. It's actually a really good buy on that particular track. So that's a brand new, basically a brand new car. So it's certified pre-owned. It was purchased in July, a couple months back. Didn't work out. It was too small for the customer. They wanted something bigger, so they traded in. Only has 924 miles on it. So the amount of warranty you get is incredible. And that's the guy we're splitting with right there. That's Joe. Joe's the gentleman who helped out while I was on vacation. And what we're gonna do is actually, you know, there's two ways to handle a situation like this. Automatically, because he dealt with them, but they wanted to wait for me, it's a split deal. Because he definitely deserves credit and, and, and something for, for working with him the other day. However, a lot of times, like in my personal uh, preference, I'd rather not have a split deal because I don't want to lose half a unit. You know, we, we work a lot on bonuses and stuff like that. And if you hit those top tiers, sometimes you miss it by a half and it can just drive you nuts. So in this instance, I talked with him, he'd rather take the cash. So once I get paid, we'll split the commission down the middle. I'll pay him cash and uh, I'll get credit for the full unit 
as far as the dealership is concerned. All right, it's 2.35 in the afternoon. Uh, it's been relatively slow. I haven't talked to anybody since that other customer left that purchased the tracks. But we got plenty of time. We're here till six, so we'll see if we can get in front of somebody else. Check this out, it's 2.40. It's five minutes after I just said on film, we haven't had any customers. Let me see if I can get in front of somebody else. Somebody pulls in, we're going to look at a Tahoe. So I'm gonna let this guy roll. Looking at a Tahoe, but like a 2021 Tahoe. So we're, you know, six months out from what that'll be. Right now it's a spy shot, so. Okay. So my client's gonna hold off right now. It's funny, he's looking at a Tahoe, he had one in the past, and his concern is the space in the third row and behind the third row, which is one of the big things with a Tahoe. You know, the foot well in here is a little shallow because of all the suspension components and everything that's underneath the truck. So it's one of the things that we hear about all the time. I did show him the Traverse there uh, to compare the two, but he likes the look of the Tahoe. He's in no rush. So once he started saying how he's really not in a rush and it's really just something he's thinking of doing, I told him, listen, why don't you hold off a little bit? I went on a computer, I showed him some spy shots of the 2021 Tahoe because it's supposed to go to some like independent suspension or something in the back that would give them more room to drop that floor pan down to hopefully have more leg room in the third row. So with that, uh, he's gonna hold off and wait and kind of just see maybe what five, six months brings and uh, what they introduce with that new 21, 2021 Chevy Tahoe. Now, once I get more details, you'll know you'll see a video about it here because we sell a ton of these trucks. So uh, definitely, you know, just keep watching my channel. I truly appreciate it. Have a good one.